Jim Steranko is another one of those classic artists like Gil Kane, whose career spanned many decades and who worked in the movie industry, like Frank Frazetta, Mobius and Stephen Platt. Awesome curved bodies, right? Kind of Jack Kirby-ish exaggerations, with a bit of Salvador Dali. And he's a real pro at classic hatching and feathering. So a quick analysis. The dynamics come from the curves in the body, the green line here, but also opposition. So Nick Fury's torso is aimed to the left, but the crotch and eye line to the right. Same with Captain America. Also the dramatic foreshortening in the back leg. Typical Jack Kirby stuff. I haven't used the Audrey Hepburn in a while, so let's do a Catwoman. Always my first thought when I see Audrey Hepburn. Here's three options. Sterenko makes the female figures contort a bit less than the male heroes, so let's go for this one. Tighten it up, get those cheekbones. Funny how the recent artist I studied erased the bottom line of the eye, but Sterenko actually thickens it. Yeah, I should do the opposite. I should. If every instinct you have is wrong, then the opposite would have to be right. <laughs> yes. I will do the opposite. It will be dark, so a quick rough version will do, I think. Okay, noise filter on the figure, overlay some old paper, and a reversed Batman comic, and it is done. Jim Stee Renko. I think this is the first time I'm super happy with the shading on the chest and the hips. This time the rushing actually worked in my favor. <laughs> Lucky. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you think I succeeded, and catch you next time.